Good morning dear students. Welcome back to our science class. So children, in the last video we have discussed about nutrition and unicellular organism. Today let us discuss about nutrition in multicellular organism. Children, organism like hydra, human beings and humans are multicellular organism. Their body is complex and is made up of many cells. They have different ways of taking in nutrition. So let us see the nutrition in Hydra. Children, Hydra is a simple multicellular animal. It ingests food with the help of tentacles around its mouth. These tentacles entangle and kill small aquatic animals and push them into the mouth. The digestive juices inside the body help to digest, absorb and assimilate the food. So this is how Hydra takes its nutrition. Now let us discuss the nutrition in human beings. Well, the digestion in human beings takes place through the digestive system. The human digestive system consists of a group of organs that work together to convert food into energy. Food passes through a long tube inside the body known as the alimentary canal. The alimentary canal consists of the mouth cavity or buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and rectum. In addition to the alimentary canal, organs like salivary glands, liver, gallbladder and pancreas also help in this process by secreting digestive juices and converting complex substances of food into simpler ones. Children, to achieve this goal of providing energy and nutrients to the body, Five major functions takes place in the digestive system. They are ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. First is ingestion. Children, the first function of the digestive system is ingestion or the intake of food. In humans, food is ingested through the mouth. Second is digestion. The digestion of food begins in the mouth itself as soon as it is put in the mouth. So let us see digestion in mouth. The mouth cavity or buccal cavity contains salivary glands, tongue and teeth. The salivary glands produces a watery secretion known as saliva. The saliva contains an enzyme called salivary amylase which helps to convert the starch present in the food into sugar. Thus, the digestion of a starch begins in the mouth itself. The tongue helps to mix the food with saliva and enables us to swallow it. Teeth help in cutting, tearing, grinding and chewing the food before we swallow it. So children, since the food remains for a very short time in mouth, so the digestion of food remains incomplete in mouth. So more details of digestion we will study in our next video. Thank you.